Hey there, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Katrina and my job is to help you speak and remember Chinese with confidence and joy. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about verb complement phrases. So what exactly is that? So verb complement is a verb plus a complement word which modify or complement the word and become a phrase. They're very commonly used in daily life Mandarin Chinese and there are so many of them. So without further ado, let's get into the verb complement phrases. Number one, verb plus dao. Dao literally means to arrive, but here as a verb complement, it means to achieve the action. So if you're just simply use the verb can, which means to watch, to see, and to read. So if you say 我看这本书, I read this book. Like just read a simple action. 我看这本书, I read this book. But if you say 我看到这本书了, which means that I see this book, you can imagine that you're looking for or searching for the book and then you see it. 看到, 我看到这本书了, 我看到这本书了. Another example is if you're looking for your glasses and you might ask a person, 你有没有看到我的眼睛? Did you see my glasses? 看到, not to see the glasses, but see it in your eyesight like did you see my glasses did you find my glasses 你有没有看到我的眼镜? and to answer this question you could say 我没看到你的眼镜. i didn't see your glasses 我没看到你的眼镜. or you could say 看到了就在那里. oh i see it it's right there 看到了就在那里. so here 看到 you can imagine that you're searching for something and then you see it. 看到. The next verb phrase is 想到. 想 is to think. So the 想 verb alone, you can use it like 让我想想这个问题. Let me think about this question or problem. 让我想想这个问题. So 想 as a verb alone, it's just to think. But if you use the complement 到, 想到, meaning that not only you think, but you come up with the idea or solution, you achieve the purpose of thinking 想, 想到. So you can 想到 an idea or 想到 a solution to a problem. For example, 我想到了一个好办法, 我想到了一个好办法, 我想到了, I came up, 一个好办法, a good solution. 我想到了一个好办法. Or if you are thinking what to eat for dinner or lunch, but you still cannot think of anything you could eat for lunch, for example, you could say, 我想不到午餐要吃什么. 我想不到. So, 想到 is to think, and then you have a solution, but 想不到 is you think, but no solution, you don't achieve the purpose. 我想不到午餐要吃什么, what to eat for lunch, 想不到. I know it's a little bit complicated, especially if you want to put everything you learned today into you. So if you're interested, I have a Chinese speaking program where I guide students with my structure and community. You can click the link in the description and check out my Chinese speaking program for beginner student to lower intermediate student to have a chance to speak Mandarin, practice Mandarin Chinese. Next one is show the verb, show to receive. So show dao. So not just to receive, but you achieve the purpose of the action. Dao, show dao, like you received already. 你收到了我给你的礼物吗? 你收到了我给你的礼物吗? So did you receive? 收到了我给你的礼物, the gift that I give you. 我给你的礼物吗? 你收到了我给你的礼物吗? If you have received, you could say 我收到了. Yes, I have received. 我收到了. If not yet, you could say 我还没, not yet, 还没收到. 我还没收到. I have not received yet. The next one is 
my, the action my means to buy, and you know this verb very well. I believe that to buy something, to buy something. But my doubt is that you go to the action to buy my, and then you achieve the purpose. For example, 我终于买到 iPhone 手机了 I finally bought this iPhone. So 我终于终于 is finally 我终于买到 I want to buy and I get it. I achieve the purpose. 买到 maybe it's very hard to buy. So you could say 我终于买到 iPhone 手机了 I finally bought iPhone phone. iPhone 手机这个包包是限量的，很难买到。这个包包，包包 is like bag, like shoulder bag or handbag. 这个包包 ，this bag 是限量的。限 is limited, 量 is amount. So it's limited edition, limited amount. 很难买到。It's hard to buy and get it. It's hard to buy. It's hard to get it. 这个包包是限量的。很难买到。Next one， 台湾买不到这个牌子的车。In Taiwan, you cannot buy this brand's car. 台湾买不到。So 买到 is to buy and you get it. But 买不到 is even you want to buy, you have money, but you cannot get it. 在台湾买不到 ，you cannot buy 这个牌子的车。This Brand's car. Now let's take a look at the next verb complement, which is one. One means to finish, so you can put different verbs in front of one. Finish doing something. For example, 吃完 finish eating. 你吃完了吗 Did you finish eating? 你吃完 So 吃 is to eat. One is finish to modify the verb. 吃你吃完了吗 You finish eating. 我吃不完，你可以帮我吗 ？I cannot finish eating. Can you help me? 我吃不完。So you have a 不 a negative to talk about. You want to finish eating, but you cannot. 不完吃不完。我吃不完，你可以帮我吗 ？Can you help me? 你可以帮我吗 ？Or you can say, 吃完饭我要看电视。After finish eating. I want to watch TV. 吃完饭，吃饭 to eat a meal after eating meal. 吃完饭，我要看电视 I want to watch TV. So that is 吃完 finish eating. The next verb is 说 which means to talk or to say. 说说完 finish talking, finish saying something. For example, 你说完了吗 Have you done talking? 你说完了吗 ？This is not a very polite sentence when you want people to shut up. You might say, 你说完了吗 ？If you want to say, I haven't done talking yet, you could say, 我还没说完。Again, 还没 means not yet. 说完 is finished talking. So I have not finished talking yet. 我还没说完。Or if you want to say, this is a long story. Ten minutes is not enough to finish talking about the story. You can say, 这个故事太长了，十分钟说不完。这个故事 the story 太长了 ，it is too long. 十分钟 ten minutes 说不完。So 说完 is finish talking. 说不完 is cannot finish talking. 十分钟说不完。All right, let's move on to take a look at the next verb complement, which is 对。对 meaning correct, so you can put a verb and a 对 become a verb complement phrase. For example, 猜对。猜对 is to guess something right. 猜 is to guess. If you want someone to guess something, you can say 你猜 ，you guess. 你猜 ，and I usually like people to guess how old am I. I would say, 你猜我几岁 ？You guess how old am I? 你猜我几岁 ？If someone gets it right, I would say, 你猜对了。猜对 ，guess right. 你猜对了 ，you guessed it right. Or you can use another verb, for example, like 说
说对 ，to say something right. You say it right. That's right. 你说对了。Yes, what you say is correct. What you say is right. 你说对了。The opposite of 对 is 错 Could also use as a verb complement. Verb plus 错 means to do something wrong. For example, 你猜错了 You guess it wrong. So I want someone to guess something, and it's wrong. I would say, 嗯，你猜错了 Or if someone says something wrong, I would say, 你说错了你说错了 Or you might have this experience that you try to remember something, but you remember wrong. Maybe you remember meeting a person on Sunday, but it's actually on Saturday. You say, Oh, sorry. I remember the date wrong. So in this case, you could say, 对不起，我记错了 Sorry, I remember it wrong. 对不起 I'm sorry, 我记错了记 means to remember. 错 is the result. So I remember it, but it's wrong information. 我记错了对不起，我记错了。Hope this video is helpful to you, and don't forget to write down your own sentences after watching this video. And don't forget to click the link in the description and check out my Chinese speaking program. All right, and I'll see you next time. 再见。